This is crazy. A recent study showed that when it comes to AI fluency, no one within field of medical affairs has high or very high knowledge. Everyone either ranked as adequate, because they just barely made it in terms of understanding how to use AI effectively in their jobs, or had low AI fluency. Now, what does this mean? This means that many people today who are working in field medical affairs who are MSLs simply don't have the tools needed and the knowledge needed to use AI effectively in their day-to-day -day job. And this is one of the reasons why people come to us at the ACMA to board certify through the BCMAS their professionals through the board certified medical care specialist program. Why? Because a third of our content is all about AI fluency. The other third is about scientific and technical acumen. And the last third is about business core skills. So when you board certify your team, not only are you externally validating them, but you're teaching them and showing them how to effectively and compliantly with the right compliance guardrails, how to use AI, how to prompt AI, when to use and when not to use AI, the different large language models that are out there and when to use them for a particular task throughout the MSL workflow, which is something that we go through, the different parts of their workday and then which AI tools they should be using, how to identify when there's AI generated content and a lot of other stuff. This is a must have in today's market if you want to future proof your team. And quite honestly, if you don't want to be obsolete, we see how AI is moving. It's moving at lightning speeds, exponentially faster than the last revolution, which was the industrial revolution. So a medical affairs leader, please reach out to Stacey. We'd love to work with you and partner with you on how we can elevate your team's competency in these different areas. I'll talk to you guys soon.